What's this? A bonus episode? On a Tuesday? What? <laughs> wow, that, that came out way stupider than I thought it was going to. Hey there, Heather, oh there, my name is Mike. Welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews. Yes, it's a Tuesday. I said I wanted to start doing more uploads uh, and I had extra time today I'm filming. So uh, we're doing a Tuesday upload this week. This is probably not gonna be a frequent thing. This is a very weird thing that I have extra time to do this, so. Without further ado, let's dive into today's video subject, which probably looks kind of odd to you based on both the name of this video and uh, the shit sitting in front of me. For reference, my name is Mike. I'm a bartender from the Kalamazoo area. And today I'm gonna take a chance to talk to you about something called the dark ages of cocktails and uh, unfortunately two cocktails in a single video that both come from that period of time. May God have mercy on my soul. So the Dark Ages of Mixology is kind of this, this sort of concept of cocktail history that people talk about that stretches from around the mid to late 60s into the late 80s, early 90s. It's this point where a lot of mixology technique and, and sort of studies uh, and, and the act of balancing and these sort of rules that were being followed at one point completely dissolve into really, really fast cocktails that are as simple as possible. And simple, po and simple cocktails are not bad. Daiquiris are very simple. They're awesome. Gin sours are very simple. They're awesome. The Army and Navy was really good. We talked about that one a couple episodes ago. The thing is, those were all still paying respects to rules about making cocktails that define how to properly balance a cocktail. Those are gone in this context. So the Dark Ages is really just about putting shit into a glass to get you drunk as fast as possible without really tasting anything of any import. The two cocktails we're talking about today, the Mind Eraser and the Mind Replacer, are both firmly from that period of time. Now, I can't tell you exactly when they come from because unfortunately there's next to no history about these things aside from the account of people who were alive and in clubs in the 80s that they existed. So. It's 80s club culture and there is this cocktail coming around called the Mind Eraser and apparently it's super, super popular. Um, in essence, it is a black Russian, which is vodka and coffee liqueur, uh, but with the addition of club soda. I don't know why that was the direction, whoever came up with this thought, but uh, in response to that being so popular, um, an alternative sort of version of this with a different flavor profile, the Mind Replacer comes about and that is made with Chambord black raspberry liqueur. In the accounts I read of online, this is a layered cocktail that goes liqueur, vodka, soda, in either case, and is meant to be a shot, something you chug really quickly to get drunk. One of the accounts I read online from somebody who was alive during this time and in clubs said, oh yeah, we would take a straw, cut it in half, and then use both pieces to chug the thing as fast as possible, basically. It wasn't about tasting the layers, it was about just getting it into your bloodstream as fast as possible so that you would get as drunk as fast as you possibly could. I mean, that makes sense, it's the 80s. Just, just do coke. <laughs> Seems faster and less labor intensive to me. It's a layered soda cocktail that's like equal parts. I, I honestly don't know what else to tell you, so let's just go ahead and make both a mind eraser and a mind replacer. On your left is going to be a mind eraser. It's my right. Uh, on your right, my left is going to be a mind replacer. So eraser, replacer, you'll be able to tell the difference, I can almost 100% assure you. So because these are layered, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with our headiest ingredient, which is going to be our liqueurs. Um, we need two ounces of each of these, and a mind eraser calls for coffee liqueur. When it comes to the question of what coffee liqueur should you use, uh, there's kind of a debate. Really, I think both Kahlua and Tia Maria are popular enough around this time period to say that you could use either one. I think Tia Maria is a higher quality product for sure. Um, the cold brew process it's made with and just the simple impact and robustness of its coffee flavor and the presence of the rum base, which is what this is made out of, it's really good. Kahlua is like kind of candy sweet and it's too much for me. This is a bit more balanced. I, I think I would go with this. You really want to scrape the bottom of the barrel with your shitty 80s cocktails? Use Cafe Lolita, which I had half a mind to buy because frankly, this shit is $27 and I didn't really want to spend that much money, but here we are. Now that we've got the Mind Eraser started, let's start off the Mind Replacer with 
Two ounces of Chambord black raspberry liqueur. This is a liqueur flavored like black raspberries from France. It comes in a giant holy hand grenade. And I really don't suggest you buy any alternative to this. Just use Chambord. There's a company called DMOR that makes a black raspberry liqueur. It is way more sickly medicinal, um, even though this is kind of getting close to that as well. Um, but this is a much higher quality product and I really would not recommend buying cheap liqueurs at all. It's a really good way to get a really gross medicinal flavor into a cocktail. So we've got both of these started. Um, they look pretty antithetical to one another, I'm not gonna lie, so I see the thematic appeal anyway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some ice. We're gonna fill these up uh, and we're gonna aid in our layering efforts. And honestly, I was thinking about cracking ice into these, but I think a large cube is probably enough because all that I'm trying to do right now is get a layer of vodka and soda to sit on top. I think that'll do the job. So next up, we need two ounces of vodka into both of these. Um, so these are technically speaking foolproof cocktails, um, but I don't know, man, this, this seems, seems kind of silly. What's the base spirit they make this liqueur with? Oh, it's rum. Oh, so we're gonna put rum in there, right? No, vodka, please. By the way, I'm using Pinnacle very intentionally here. Don't bother wasting a nice vodka on something like this. It will only make you look stupid. So that's the vodka added. I'm getting more and more depressed the further along in this process I get. Last but not least, I need some uh, club soda. I'm not gonna lie, this is room temp. I I'm not gonna waste one of my chilled ones on this. Just gonna fill that up, pouring it off the ice to prevent the layers from unforming. It's about two ounces worth of soda water in each. Alrighty, and uh, there you have it, folks. A mind eraser and a mind replacer. They look as good as they sound, don't they? Look at them. It's like cousins who hate each other. That's what it looks like. Clearly, I'm not excited. I... <sighs> okay, let's do this, fuck it. So our layering has uh, held up um, pretty well, I think. Um, I think I'd actually like it to be more of a gradient, but this works okay too. We, do, we really just gotta get into it. And I, I'm trying my hardest to uh, not procrastinate this any longer. Since they cut a straw in half, I have two like half straws here. Um, and that's not, it's not really working. You know what, let's just, um, let's just take sips. I'm gonna start with the eraser so that I can replace my mind when I'm done. There we go. <coughs> oh, geez. <laughs> Why would you want that? Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, what the hell? So it doesn't look like I'm drinking anything off the bottom, but I can promise you I did get coffee liqueur in that. Uh, and it's, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> because you're getting this super watered down, like rum and coffee flavor, super watered down. Not just because of the vodka, but because of the actual carbonated water in this. <laughs> and it's just bitter. And and, al and the, like alcohol, just esters. It's oh, it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a fair shake and like mix it and see what happens. Um, I heard that because it was a shot, people didn't really care about the layering. They just kind of drank it really fast, and it didn't matter. Maybe mixing it is is the is peak peak mind mind eraser. I don't know. Okay, that's better, actually. It, it really now, it, ugh, uh, no, 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 there it is. Something about the combination of vodka and rum-based liqueur, um, it's fucking with me a little bit. And, and it's like really bitter on the back end. Oh, it's really gross, actually. And I really like Tia Maria, I really do. And honestly, Pinnacle Vodka is as much a vodka as any other vodka that has ever vodka so. I like this is like made with bad shit. It's just a really bad thing. Good God. Like I've been saying, I hate it. And I do, but I went back for another sip like an idiot. Ugh. I need a palate cleanser, hold on. I just finished filming the 
flips the Dover episode, and I, uh, I still have one sitting here. Albeit a little bit uh, fallen out of suspension because of the soda. Hmm. Ah, a good cocktail. Nice. I like that. Ooh, that's good. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's maybe that's what this is for. You take a shot of, of mind eraser before you drink something like a tequila sunrise, and it makes the tequila sunrise taste good. I don't know. Well, I might as well replace the psyche I've lost, like I'm eating a ration in a Metal Gear Solid game. So here's the mind e uh, replacer, I guess. Okay, that, oh, <clears throat> it's not like shit floating in this bottle, is there? Bottle's still good. Ugh, Jesus. Yeah, so like conceptually, I don't hate this one as much. Um, the separation's definitely not doing it any favors though. So let me just, uh, Kind of combine this real quick. <laughs> this layer shit is making it really difficult to enjoy these cocktails. <laughs> like say anything good about them for that matter. Maybe that's good, I don't know. Let's try that now. Yeah, conceptually, I like this one more. It It's more leaning in the direction that it should, you know? Like a, like a raspberry Tom Collins or something, you know, you can get the essence of what it's like trying to do here, but dude, this is so gross. <coughs> Truthfully, I'm a little worried about throwing up, which I didn't think I was gonna have to worry about right now. Wow. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, it's bad. They're both really bad. The Mind Eraser and the Mind Replacer are both absolutely disgusting. And, but I completely understand why if you were to do them in a smaller form factor, like an actual shot glass, why they wouldn't necessarily suck. Because you're just putting alcohol into your body really, really fast and trying to get drunk really, really quickly. And I mean, we've all been there. The spring break just finished up, so I get it. But like, there are way better ways to get drunk than either of these. These are both horrible, which is why I'm doing this video on a Tuesday. Because either this Friday or the Friday just after it, I can't recall what I decided my filming schedule was going to be. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remake these cocktails. We're gonna make them something worth actually drinking and something that you could actually drink back to back and not hate yourself for. And then maybe, who knows, we'll combine them into a single cocktail. That'd be really interesting, actually. I'll have to see how that goes. But that is our look at the Mind Eraser and Mind Replacer. Um, I'm gonna leave you with a dumb food stunt that I was thinking about doing a little while ago. And uh, now I have the chance to do to see just how bad this truthfully is. Salute. Okay, that made it not suck, actually. <laughs> Shit. I wasn't hoping to vom, but I didn't think that would work. Here we are, and that's a thousand times better than either one of them on their own. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go dump these fuckers out. Check out my socials, check out this Friday or next Friday, whatever come, whatever it comes by for my version of the Mind Eraser and Mind Replacer cocktails you'll actually want to drink. I'll see you there. Fuck these stupid things and whoever came up with them. Have a great day, drink responsibly. I'll see you in the next one. Good God. Ugh.